Hey everybody, it is 11.56 p.m. Central. We are just about ready to switch from Sam Broadcaster, which is running on a computer elsewhere. Very primitive, I'm just using this in kind of a minimized mode because what we're going to be doing is we're going to be stopping this encoder. This is what feeds the live stream. And we're going to be switching it and we're going to be coming over here to play out one. The audio you're hearing right now is a demo log that I've been running, which is about to all stop here as soon as it's done with Love Without End, Amen. By the way, it's the first song I ever sang to my son when he was in the NICU after he was born. He loves that song to this day now. Um, so kids remember. So we are on our last song here. The last song to air on the old system is She's My Kind of Rain by Tim McGraw. That'll be the last song that airs on Mixed Country 106 coming from Sam Broadcaster. This new system is going to give us way more um, flexibility in terms of just being able to, uh, yeah, just being able to change things, run different commands, and this is what real <laughs> FM stations are going to be using. A lot of them don't, but a lot of them will. Why? Because it's far and away superior. We had some issues with audio that we've been taking care of. We've been doing, uh, I've had at least three or four hours of training with the guys over at Playout One. They're based out of England, in case you were wondering. So it's been a little interesting to do the communication. But we are excited. This is getting ready to all stop here in about 14 seconds. It's going to play a quick liner. And then it's going to do a keep listening, you know, stop everything command on the player. There'll be a liner here. And that's okay. We'll stop hearing audio for just a moment. Okay. So that stopped. That did exactly what it was supposed to. So we are two minutes out. I don't have a way to monitor the audio from Sam because I've already switched our Dante routing because we do Dante over network from the routing configuration for this computer to the new computer. So we will be in silence for another minute 45, but as soon as we are, the first thing that will air on the new station, uh, again, we're gonna hit this about minute 30. So we're gonna hit this at 12 o'clock in about 30 seconds or so. This is already set to manual, so which means as soon as it's done with this, it's going to stop. And then all I need to do is hit stop here, and this is gonna be the crucial point. As soon as I toggle this switch over here on the left to on, we should see a green light if it connects. And then we will check on the site and make sure that we're actually streaming what we think we are and making sure that the audio processing is doing what it's supposed to. It loaded the next day's log in here automatically, but it's not gonna make a difference because this is gonna be a backup. In case something happens today, you know, or even right now after we switch and it doesn't go well, I've got this in case I need to go back to Sam. All right, we are 45 seconds away. This is exciting. Stations, when this type of thing happens, it's like getting a new transmitter for a station. It's It's been a lot of hours to get this log configured, um, to get it to be the way that we want it to be. And so all of these hours of effort, we waited a month and a half just to get this thing installed. So. Um, that's how popular the software is, and it's very customized. It's literally its own server. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. I'll stop. Stop the encoder. Make sure it goes idle. Swing over here. Okay, we're good. It is there. Now we want to come over here. And we got to skip past a couple things here. Come on. Here, let's just do this. Okay. There we go. It wanted to, it's having a hard time getting past these little log breaks here to do an all stop, so we had to skip past it. So now we're on, making sure we'll, we'll come back over here to the live stream. We have audio bouncing there. We'll double check these metrics here because it's possible my stat relays may not be accurate, but I know at last count we had some listeners. And they should not have gotten dropped for that short of a connection, but now we need to, first thing is make sure that this is actually live. Um, we're gonna take this off there, we're gonna go full back into auto mode. It just means it's not gonna 
it's going to ignore any commands. We're going to switch over here. Uh, I'm going to mute the players, the main deck players, because it doesn't matter because we're not running from the console, and I'll verify that here real quick. Yes, so it's still bouncing over there, but I do have my auxiliaries unmuted, so now we need to go ahead and hit here. We got our meta. That is the right metadata. but we don't have audio. Oh, that's why. It's not set to the right audio output here. There we go. So this is what's actually streaming right now. So I'll just hit pause here just to make sure, yep. And that's it. Look at that folks. We are officially running live here. I am going to do one little test here. Um, I need to do a test to make sure that this routing is actually doing what I think it's doing. So what this is doing right now, folks, is this channel here is a virtual link, meaning I can turn my stuff off and the system's flowing through like a virtual cable, essentially. When I have it running over here, which I don't right now, because it's muted, um, But yeah, if I did that, then I can run it through the console. But I need to mute this over here to absolutely make sure that there is no audio going to the live stream here. So we're intentionally muting. And then one of the tests that we'll do is to actually make sure my alarm system works. Because now we have the ability to make sure that if anything happens to the audio. So we're just about done here. But yeah, it's uh, pretty cool that it seems to be working. So this is the inner workings of how this type of thing gets routed. It's pretty complex, but we're, we're pretty happy about it. So this is on a delay. So just because I muted it, there's about a minute delay between the stream and when I, like, when I make a, a reaction or make a change and then to where you hear it on the stream. Boom, there it is. Okay, cool. So it'll be another minute now, and then the audio should come back. So, pretty cool. Yeah. There you go, guys. We are back on the air. And uh, I'll, I'll minimize this so you can get the full thing. But we have uh, our, our monitoring thing here, basically. And so that monitors several different applications and all that. And this is what's called our log. Um, so you might think, also think it's like a playlist. The difference is this has commands um, in it that uh, tell us different things and we can process different cues and all of that. Um, and this dynamically changes. So it looks at the time, it looks at what we've scheduled and it makes sure that everything is you know, in time. And there's our audio back. And so we can load it and it loads into the decks here. We're going to start doing what's called sweeps where two things can play on top. We haven't had that ability before. A lot of stations do. Um, but we're going to do it very intellectually. All of our songs are going to, we, we're going through them by hand right now to actually get them um, perfectly where we want them. Our intros, outros, and what we call a hook are the main part of the song. And we're going to start being able to tease that stuff in the hour so you know what's coming up. Um, so this system is going to really be a, a big help to us. And then down here is where we can do voice tracking uh, on a segment and all that. So I'm not going to go through all of this, but just know that we have the ability to uh, you know, do our voice tracking in a much more dynamic way now. So we're pretty excited about this. And I uh, hope you guys are too. It's going to really make a big difference in our sound. And uh, just like the big FM stations, that's the last thing I'm going to show. is this guy right here. I'm gonna make this full screen just for a second. So this is more than just fancy bar waves and all of that. This is actually processing audio the way that an FM station does. We, we normalize it. We're doing a stereo field expander. In fact, this actually has a stereo field here so we can gauge that. A lot of stations use that. This gives you a more 3D dynamic effect so we're not just playing regular audio, we're actually digitally enhancing it even before it gets to you. 
So you should notice a dramatic improvement in the audio quality coming to you. So we're processing it on the console when we're live and then it gets a little bit amplified uh, and compressed before you guys get it. So it's going to sound amazing on your guys' system. Can't wait to test it out on different devices, um, but we're super, super excited um, from just the ability to even have uh, a dynamic EQ. You can see we are a little bass heavy, but it's because a lot of this stuff gets EQ'd out, um, but we don't do a ton with it. We have some compression, we have uh, just some limiters and things like that. I can go more in detail if you guys ever are interested, but point is, it's gonna sound cool. So thanks guys for watching, and yeah, it's midnight here, but we are off and running on the new system. Yeah! Thanks guys, take care and God bless.